Have you ever wondered how the air you breathe moves into your cells? Where does it go once it gets to your lungs? Respiration is not just going from point A to point B. There are a lot of things that happen in between in order for it to be transported into your cell. In this video, we are using the mitochondria of a muscle cell. In animals that employ convective transport, oxygen goes from the atmosphere into your cells via the alternation of convection and diffusion. It enters external nares and passes by the nasal vestibule, which is located within the nasal cavity. As the air flows in and around the nasal conchae, it becomes filtered and moistened before entering the trachea. Oxygen then travels down the trachea and into the roots of both the left and right lung. Once the oxygen reaches the lungs, it passes through the bronchi, followed by the bronchioles, and lastly, the alveoli. Oxygen must undergo diffusion to enter the bloodstream. It diffuses through the alveolar and capillary epithelium and binds to the hemoglobin of the deoxygenated red blood cells, making them oxygenated. Once in the bloodstream, the oxygenated blood gets pumped through the arteries and dispersed all throughout the body. This is accomplished using convection over an average distance of 0.6 meters. The oxygen molecule then gets diffused through the capillary epithelium and into the muscle cell. Once in the cell, the oxygen molecule is diffused into the mitochondria and travels about 0.02 millimeters. To have a better understanding of this concept, here's an analogy. The first step in this transport requires oxygen to travel from the atmosphere to the air sacs of the lungs, also known as alveoli. This requires a mechanism known as convection, which also happens rapidly. Imagine leaving the store with a lot of bags and loading them into your car. These bags represent the oxygen from the atmosphere, and driving back home represents convection. This is faster than walking and allows you to carry a larger amount at once. Once the oxygen from the atmosphere get to your alveoli, it will then diffuse through the alveolar and capillary epithelia. In our analogy, this happens when you unload the portion of your groceries from your car into your house. The oxygen then diffuses to the blood which requires a strong force to reach its destination via convection, in this case, the circulation of blood. This can be thought of as driving from your house to your friend's house. The last step is the diffusion of the oxygen molecules from blood within systemic blood capillaries into the mitochondria of the muscle cell. In our analogy, it is the unloading of groceries from your car into your friend's house. In summary, oxygen molecules do not just go from point A to point B. The oxygen from the atmosphere has to undergo different processes in order to be transported to its destination.